Hi everybody, I'm the Conservative Nerd. Uh, thanks for watching. Right now I'd like to review uh, some indie books. I picked out 10 indie books, all number ones, and I'm going to go through and uh, review these for you guys and maybe uh, find something that maybe you're not reading that's pretty good. The first one I read was uh, Dead of Winter by Oni Press. One, uh, it was, I, I didn't care for it. it. It wants to be Walking Dead, but for some weird reason, like, all the adults are kind of drawn like children with that turned up nose, and it just, it came off kind of childish, almost like a 14-year-old wrote it. There's a super dog in it. It just, I did not care for it. I would give that a crap. Uh, I mean, if you're really into zombies, maybe, but I didn't care for it. Next, I read Lobster Johnson, one uh, Mangeko. And uh, this is Dark Horse, and it's kind of like the Hell uh, Hellboy family. And it's pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, if you like Mike, Mike Magnolia and the Hellboy books, this is a good one shot. I'd pick it up and read it, you know. It's self-contained story. It's enjoyable. Uh, next book I read, East of West 1 by Image. Uh, this is Jonathan Hickman, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This could be good. It's hard to tell with the first issue. They don't unveil a lot, so you really don't know too much. And uh, it seemed like it could get good. Uh, right now, I thought it was when you read something like this in the first issue, it doesn't really unveil a lot. And it's a little like what's going on at times or who is this at times. But uh, I think it could get good. It's the uh, Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse in almost an uh, Old West style apocalypse world where the Confederates and the Union are still fighting in the United. It's weird. It's definitely out there. It's probably not for everybody. I gave it a readable. I think it might pick up to a good. I don't know if I'll read any more of it. I wasn't that excited about it, but I gave it a readable. Next, I read uh, Dark Horse's Predator Hunters, and this was good. This was really good. If you like Predator and you like uh, the Predator books, this is a solid book. Uh, in this book, all the people that survived Predator attacks become a group that hunt Predators. So the hunter becomes the hunted in this. And it's kind of cool. I enjoy it. It's a cool little arc. It's a cool kind of thing for the Predator books. I kind of liked it. It was good. Next, I read uh, Image, Injection One by Warren Ellis. And Injection One, I couldn't tell you what really happens in this book or what this book is about. It is Warren Ellis. It's super sci-fi mumbo jumbo -y. Uh It could get good. I mean, there's ideas here I like, but again, you're kind of lost. And... He doesn't explain things very well. I, maybe he will later. I only read issue one. I don't know if I'll read any more of this. I I, I was kind of like, what is going on? But it's interesting. Ellis is a good writer. Little sci-fi mumbo jumbo-y, but it's not bad. I gave it a readable. It could get better, though. It's hard to say with some of these books. They try to be so out there that it's hard to get into it. This is one of the hardest books I've ever read. I mean, it is... It is very mumbo jumbo. -y. Next, I read Images Sex Criminals 1 by Chip Zdarsky and Matt Fraction. And this isn't hard to read. Uh, this book is goofy. Uh, for some weird reason, throughout this book, the main character, a girl, keeps talking about the jokes are coming. The jokes are coming. Oh, there's going to be so many jokes. And there's really no jokes. And if there is a joke, it's so bad, you don't even know it's a joke. Uh... Chip Zdarsky at his best. Uh, the plot is ridiculous. This woman stops time when she has sex. Uh, and a dude she meets who does it too. And they decide to rob banks by screwing in the bathroom. That's the plot. That really is the plot of the Sex Criminals book. And uh, it almost feels like something stolen from Chuck Palahniuk. Where Chuck Palahniuk would have done it great and cool. Chip Zardowski does it with, like, goof jokes and thinks he's cute. Uh, it's, it's not. I, I, this book is crap. Sex Criminals 1 to me was crap. Jimmy's Bastards by Aftershock Studios. Garth Ennis, 
and Russ Braun write this. And whoa, Russ Braun does the art, Garth Ennis does the story, and this was my find. Holy crap. I want to thank you guys, because if I wasn't making these videos, I probably would have never read this book. And this book is awesome. This book is Garth Ennis wiping his butt with social justice. Oh my goodness. You, If you printed this book at, at Marvel, their psycho girl editors would be triggered. They would be ripping. This would not get printed at Marvel. They would throw a crap fest. This is awesome. This is Garth Ennis just peeing all over social justice warriors. Man, if you hate social justice and you love comics, Jimmy's bastards. And to explain the story is Jimmy is like James Bond. He is James Bond, technically. And since he bangs so many chicks, he has about a thousand bastard children that decide that they're going to kill him. And this is an awesome book. There are so many jokes on social justice in this book. So I was laughing my head off. This is actually a funny comic. After reading Marvel, I didn't even know they made funny comics anymore. This is a good book. Next, I read uh, Image, Rocket Girl by Brandon Montclair and Amy Reader. It's it's good. Uh, I probably won't read a lot of it or more of it, but I liked it. If I was into girl books or if you're into girl books by Marvel, I highly recommend this book because uh, this is better than anything Marvel's doing. Anything. Like, uh, this is pretty good. Hey, I wish they would have made her a woman and not a teen. I get kind of sick of the teen heroes and she's like teen crime division, which is kind of weird because it's like, who would have a teen crime division? Yeah, we need to fight crime. Get more teenagers. That'll do it. Yeah. But it's, it's good. I mean, it's better than, I was surprised by how bad Marvel does their girl heroes and how much better this was. Art wise and story wise, it's still better than any of the girl books that Marvel's doing right now. Next, I read uh, Albatross's Nom Wolf 1. I could have liked this more. I think the art's almost like Beetle Bailey-ish or Archie-ish in the 40s or 50s. It's very Sunday comic strippy, and it kind of looks weird in a horror book about a kid who goes to Nom who becomes a werewolf. I think it could have been done better. It's readable, but it could have been good. I think the art's a little 40s comic strippy for me, but some people might like it. I It was okay. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it, but I wouldn't read any more of it. Next, from Albatross again, I read uh, Hillbilly 1 by Eric Powell, who does The Goon. And this is a cool book, man. This is fun. This is almost Hillbilly lore mythology in the hills and it is cool it's fun he hunts witches with a, a machete that was stolen from the devil so if that sounds cool to you i mean it's kind of a cool book i really liked hillbilly i'll probably be reading more of it and jimmy's bastards were were proud and predator hunter i would recommend those top those three books were really fun uh lobster johnson was good it's a one shot so uh that came out Wednesday, and if you're into Hellboy, you know, that was good, but, uh, man, Jimmy's Bastards, whoa, I'll rate that up there with anything right now, man, that is a fun, fun book. Uh, again, I want to thank everybody for watching, check out other videos, Master Tootie, New Nerd Wonder, Doug Ernst, Diversity in Comics, those guys probably don't need me shilling for them, they have thousands and thousands of subscribers, but, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Keep reading comics. Uh, if there's something you want me to get into or review, indie, Marvel, DC, anything, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys.